This is a $1,000 gaming PC, and I'm going to be destroying it with the best graphics possible. The graphics card in the PC is a 4060 Ti, which means it's definitely really good. It's a pre-built from the brand CyberPower PC. I'm going to put all my Fortnite graphics settings to the most realistic and push the 4060 Ti to its limit. First, we're going to be checking out all the specs in the PC, so we do have to take off this glass panel. So the motherboard on this PC, it's back there, is the Gigabyte B550 UDAC. And obviously I read that because I was not about to memorize that all. But I kind of like just figured out what the motherboard is. It says it like right there. But now I'm going to be talking about all the other specs in it. So I'm pretty sure the CPU is actually behind this clear fan right here. But it is the Ryzen 7 5700. Um, so it is a really good CPU for this PC. The CPU actually does have eight cores in it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but the SSD is down there. It's actually a lot. It's two whole terabytes of storage, which is a ton for a PC. I actually don't know much about these five fans that are in the PC, but I know that these ones are by Fantex or something. So these three are by Fantex. This one looks like it's just by CyberPower, so like the main uh, brand that makes the PC. And this one doesn't really have a brand on it, so I'm not sure about that one. Overall, in this PC, the wiring is really good, as you guys can see, pretty organized here. The only one that kind of sticks out is here, but you know, who cares? And I think there's a couple wires down there, but those ones are organized. Of course, the main spec that we're focusing on for this video is the GeForce RTX 4060 Ti. Um, and here it is right here and it's honestly like really good and I was surprised I could get a graphics card like this for a PC under a thousand dollars Well, it was like a little bit over but around a thousand So the last thing in the PC is the RAM So it's 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and there's eight two gigabyte sticks And I'm pretty sure it just makes the performance a little bit better because it's not just one stick by the way, this is my first ever PC I got, and it was a pre-built from CyberPower. And if you want to find out more about the PC and me testing it in like performance mode in Fortnite, make sure to go check out my video about me buying my first PC. And the unboxing, gameplay, and review and stuff. So I feel like it's always so difficult to get the glass panel on. So I'm going to try. So I think you have to like slide it in. I keep forgetting. There we go. Wait, I think. No, that's good. That's good. Now we have to just... Put the screws in. All right, there goes one screw. Now on to the second. And there we go, we got the second one on. That wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. My love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to, but when I find myself tripping off that blind. If you're into streaming, podcasting, or just want to sound better when you're gaming, the FiFine A58 would be perfect for you. Let's dive in and see all the features. The AM8 captures your voice very clearly and naturally. It won't make you sound weird or exaggerated. This mic is super versatile. It is both XLR and USB connections. If you're just starting out, you can plug it directly into your computer with the USB. It's really easy to use, and it even has a handy mute button with an LED light to remind you if you're muted. No more awkward moments when you forget to unmute yourself. For more advanced users, the XLR connection is awesome. You can connect it to mixers and sound cards to really fine tune your audio. It's great if you're looking to upgrade your setup over time. One of the coolest features of the AM8 is the RGB lighting. It has three modes in over 10 different colors, so you can match it with your gaming setup. It remembers your last setting so you don't have to choose your favorite color every time you turn it on. There are also some extra controls. It has a headphone jack so you can monitor your voice in real time and you can adjust the volume directly on the mic. There's also a mic gain knob to help you get the perfect audio level without needing a lot of editing later. And guess what? The AM8 is great for all kinds of users, whether you're gaming at home, recording a podcast, or even taking it on the go. This mic can do it all. It fits most mic stands and even comes with a noise canceling windscreen to help keep your audio clean. For just $55, it's a great choice. If you're interested Interested, make sure to check out the Fifine AM8 with the first link in the description. In order to get the good graphics, I can't be on performance mode, so I'm basically gonna go back to DirectX 12, I think that's called what it's called, and I'm gonna have to apply and restart the game. So now we loaded back in and we're gonna go to the graphics and we're gonna be turning everything like to the best. So we applied it all and we're just gonna be going into some battle royale and seeing how good the game looks. Okay, so we're finally in. Oh, it's so laggy. 
So we're currently getting around 70 FPS on the battle bus. It's really laggy. I can barely do anything. It's dropping to like 35 FPS. Look how laggy this is. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really laggy. We're getting a lot, like 13 FPS. Bro, it's about to crash. But the graphics honestly look pretty good. Oh my gosh, look how good like the trees look over there. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, it's literally so laggy. I can barely do anything. We're gonna be playing one more Battle Royale game and then we're gonna be going into some cool creative map that like the graphics are really, really good and it's like creative 2.0, I think. I don't know if I can get that. I don't know what it is, but the loading screens take like a lot longer. We're literally getting 20 FPS, guys. No wonder it's so lag. Oh, it dropped down to six FPS, bro. We're about to crash the game. It does honestly look pretty good, like especially the lighting. I feel like that's the best part. But I wouldn't switch to Epic because I wouldn't risk it for the FPS. Like performance mode is really good because you get so much FPS and that's like what I normally just do. Oh shoot, there's a guy, there's a guy. We can easily kill him though. For some reason when we're killing him, we're not lagging though. Oh, and right after we kill him, we do. We're definitely gonna need some minis because um I'm lagging a lot. So I'm gonna miss all my shots. Shoot, what am I doing, bro? Oh shoot, wait, what? How did I die? What? I was literally just on the zip line and I think he might have headshotted me and then I died, bro. So I couldn't like figure out how to get like the creative 2.0 map, but this map looks really, really cool on max settings. And look how good like the lighting and the fog is and like the fire and stuff. That's crazy. Wait, I'm gonna go up here. Bro, look how good it looks. I don't think I can go out there, but I just think this looks insane with the graphics on the walls, the like items and then the fog over there. That's crazy. Overall, I don't think epic settings are worth it. Like right now I'm actually getting 60 FPS, which is like what you would get on like a old gen console. But yeah, stick to performance mode. So basically, um, since I couldn't get like the creative 2.0, I'm just gonna be looking up a video if Fortnite was ultra realistic and kind of just like reacting to it. Yeah, I wish my game could get like that, but also how is he getting like 60 to 120 FPS? He's literally getting like stable 120 FPS. Right look how good the plants look and like the lighting looks really good. Like with the sun and everything, it's really bright. Wait, why does it actually look like really realistic? Look at like the grass and stuff. Okay, building kind of looks the same. Like, oh wait, no, look at the builds. Did you see, see that? Wait, what? Look at the builds. They have like the wood kind of look to it, more of a wood look than normal. But yeah, I'll put this guy's channel down below if you guys wanna check out his videos that I just reacted to. Okay, so another game I wanted to try in high settings was uh, Valorant. And I've only played this like for a week and I have i don't know really nothing about the game, but honestly, the graphics look really good with the lighting and stuff. Honestly, the detail is incredible actually. But yeah, that's about all I wanted to like test. I guess we could go out here. The ground looks really nice. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there's like so much detail. Like, look at this water. Oh shoot, I'm getting killed. But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to basically show you guys in Valorant. But yeah, for Fortnite, I would definitely not use it in high settings. I'm gonna stick to performance mode. But yeah, make sure to go check out some of my other videos, subscribe, like the video. And if you guys liked it, make sure to comment 4060 down below. Actually 4060 TI, can't forget the TI. But yeah, peace.